Mass for You at Home is proudly supported by Catholic Mission. To learn how a gift in your will can leave a legacy of eternal hope and a lasting impact for generations to come, call 1-800-257-296 or visit catholicmission.org.au slash wills. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. It's a great joy to be with you once again. My name is Father Josh Ricker from the Missionaries of God's Love, and it's wonderful to gather together on this fifth Sunday of Lent as we move very quickly towards the Easter Triduum. We take a moment now to acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you were lifted up to draw all people to yourself. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You shouldered the cross to bear our suffering and sinfulness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You opened for your people the way from death into life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. By your help, we beseech you, Lord our God. May we walk eagerly in that same charity with which, out of love for the world, your Son handed himself over to death. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. See, the days are coming. It is the Lord who speaks. When I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and the house of Judah, but not a covenant like the one I made with their ancestors on the day I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt. They broke that covenant of mine, so I had to show them who was master. It is the Lord who speaks. No, this is the covenant I will make with the house of Israel when those days arrive. It is the Lord who speaks. Deep within them, I will plant my law, writing it on their hearts. Then I will be their God and they shall be my people. There will be no further need for neighbor to try to teach neighbor or brother to say to brother, Learn to know the Lord. No, they will all know me. The least know less than the greatest. It is the Lord who speaks. Since I will forgive their iniquity and never call their sin to mind. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to you.
A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. During his life on earth, Christ offered up prayer and entreaty, aloud and in silent tears, to the one who had the power to save him out of death, and he submitted so humbly that his prayer was heard. Although he was son, he learnt to obey through suffering, but having been made perfect, he became for all who obey him the source of eternal salvation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, O King of endless glory. If you serve me, follow me, says the Lord. And where I am, my servant will also be. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, O King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Among those who went up to worship at the festival were some Greeks. These approached Philip, who came from Bethsaida in Galilee, and put this request to him. Sir, we should like to see Jesus. And Philip went to tell Andrew, and Andrew and Philip together went to tell Jesus. And Jesus replied to them, Now the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. I tell you most solemnly, unless a wheat grain falls on the ground and dies... It remains only a single grain, but if it dies, it yields a rich harvest. Anyone who loves his life loses it, and anyone who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. If a man serves me, he must follow me, for wherever I am, my servant will be there too. If anyone serves me, my father will honour him. Now my soul is troubled. What shall, I, what shall I say? Father, save me from this hour. But it was for this very reason that I have come to this hour. Father, glorify your name. And a voice came from heaven. I have glorified it and I will glorify it again. People standing by who heard this said it was a clap of thunder. Others said it was an angel speaking to him. And Jesus answered, It was not for my sake that this voice came, but for yours. Now sentence is being passed on this world. Now the prince of this world is to be overthrown. And when I am lifted up from the earth, I will draw all men to myself. By these words, he indicated the kind of death he will die. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Not sure about you, but I've often had the experience when I've been going on a journey or a trip for a week or a few days or maybe a little bit longer, I t- can tend to do one of two things. I tend to pack really early or most frequently I tend to pack my bags really, really late. I'm jamming stuff into my, into my suitcase in the, uh, in the hours and often the minutes before it's time for me to leave that I can uh, put that maybe that difficult or that hard work to the very end until it's probably a little bit too late to actually be able to do a good and thorough job of it. And I wonder if this can be true of us as well when it comes to these things in life, not just packing for holidays, but maybe just for some difficult realities or those, those, those moments when the music kind of stops and we have to stop and face reality that we can almost defer and delay. That we think that time maybe hasn't come, that we've got that little bit of extra time that we might be able to squeeze in what we need to do. And in the Gospel today, in John's Gospel, finally, after many, many weeks and months of Jesus telling his disciples that his, his, disciples that his time hasn't yet come, he finally declares that now the hour has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. They've been waiting and waiting and waiting, and now is the moment. Now Jesus' hour and his time has come. The time for him to draw all people to himself. 
the time for his death and for his glory. And the reality is, is that we're called into this too, that we're not called to watch, but we're called to walk with Jesus as he embarks on this journey. That as we enter into these next two weeks, moving towards Holy Week next week, that we'll join with Jesus on his journey. His journey not only to his death, but particularly to his glory. The death that he calls us all to share in in our own way, but particularly the glory that we're all invited into as well. And so as we enter into Eucharist today, and as we enter into these last two weeks before Easter, Let's take up that invitation from Jesus to walk with him, to enter into this time with him, and so too to share in his glory. And together let's profess our faith using the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Brothers and sisters, God is the source of our salvation. Let us offer our fervent prayers to the God of mercy. That nations will seek peace and reconciliation. To God we pray. that those who are preparing for baptism will be renewed with a steadfast spirit. To God we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. That we will continue to serve Christ in our prayer, fasting and almsgiving. To God we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, that they will be raised to eternal life. To God we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God of the covenant, you have written your law deep within our hearts. Hear these prayers and help us to die to ourselves that we may rise to new life through Christ our Lord. Amen. brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. 
May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Hear us, Almighty God, and having instilled in your servants the teachings of the Christian faith, graciously purify them by the working of this sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Brian, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the world. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but I need say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Spread, drink this cup. Come to me and never be hungry. Eat this bread, drink this cup. Trust in me and you will not thirst. I am the bread of. Eat my 
bread, drink this cup, come to me and never be hungry, eat this bread, drink this cup, trust in me and you Let us pray. We pray, Almighty God, that we may always be counted among the members of Christ, in whose body and blood we have communion, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. Bless, O Lord, your people who long for the gift of your mercy, and grant that what at your prompting they desire they may receive by your generous gift through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hi, I'm Bishop Brian Mascord. I invite you to consider how you might support Mass for You at Home in 2024. Last year was a hard one for so many people, and despite the incredible generosity of our donors, we fell well short of our fundraising target. If you are a regular viewer, I invite you to consider giving weekly or monthly, or maybe you can give a significant one-off contribution or consider including Mass for You at Home in your will. Thank you for your prayers and financial support. Please continue to pray that we will be able to keep the Mass on Australian television beyond 2024. Be assured of my prayers for you and your loved ones. <laughs>